Morning. Morning, folks. Hello. Move along. Just keep going. Move along. No need to slow down. It's just Mikey Noah. There you go. All right. So we're moving folks along here. 580 westbound right there at Portola Avenue. There's the traffic flowing nicely. We'll show you on the maps, though, the back. Everyone knows him as NBC Bay Area's traffic anchor. Still 33 minutes. But Mike and Noe's road to news wasn't always his plan. Tonight, while well, getting out, maybe a slightly bigger deal. Stick around. I'll explain why. Let's go if you drive. But if you take so, my my highest aspiration was to work at a company like HP, which was the big employer. I entered college as a as a I guess a bio major. It's called psychobiology, and uh, it's one of the related biology majors. And I got in as that major, um, but I really didn't take any of the prerequisites. Because once I got to college, I discovered that I really was jazzed about language. Languages, uh, had always wanted to take Japanese and, and, and was already taking Spanish. So I ended up majoring in linguistics because I had all of the language background and all of the credits there. And that really was where my interest was. So I studied the structure uh, and, and how you make the world's languages, including those cool African languages they talk about in the movies like Mosan and Abe, Mo. I got into high tech, out of linguistics I got into high tech. High tech takes me back here now because I happened to find an affinity for the computers while I was working at that company. Started fixing them and ended up getting a job as a tech uh, manager back here in San Jose. And my goal was to get back to the Bay Area. After getting to the tech industry, Mike switched lanes into a different career. I uh, ended up doing improvisational comedy as my sole income for six months. But it only took three of those months to realize that I didn't want to do that because it was too stressful and there wasn't enough money and it wasn't reliable. Of course, with his persistence, hard work, and a bit of luck, Mike took a chance at another possibility. Highway 92, back took a chance, I guess, basically, and found a job for a small, uh, independent station that wanted someone who knew how to do internet, who could write, and uh, who potentially could uh, work with their website. And it happened to be a, a station called KNTV. Tickets, but you could name your own price. And, and I got an opportunity to audition as Maybe the traffic guy then. by a really weird fluke of um, a series of incidents. And, uh, and I got the audition, I got the job, and my life changed into a completely different direction. Been going off for about a half mile. When he's off camera, Mike enjoys using various cameras as a hobby. I love taking pictures. I like little, what I love about uh, now is we can take you know, a five second video with the phone as well and keep that. And I have two little kids, you know them. And um, it's a lot of fun to be able to just capture them for a little bit of time because now you have audio and video together and it really captures their personality just for that. So we actually have kind of a video scrapbook that we have and uh, someday we'll do something with it. The other uh, super fun thing that I do, for me, personally fulfilling, is volunteering at a lot of these uh, community events. That's a passion of mine, is to, to help with the nonprofits, and specifically, selfishly, one of those is uh, the Japanese-American cultural community things, so that we can have them left over for my kids, so that when they are ready to appreciate them, they'll be there for them to appreciate. He's a father, a husband, a traffic anchor, and a humanitarian. But what's it like working with Mike Inoue? Well, I have to say, working with Mike and Noe is about as much fun as getting stuck in traffic. <laughs> Just kidding. He is awesome. I am so, I feel like I'm blessed to work with him every day because I can throw anything at him, even if I didn't mean to, if it was unintentional, and he's going to pick it up and smack it out of the park. He's really, really good. He's got a great work ethic. He shows up every single day. And more importantly, I know I can count on him to always have my back. And working on a team, that's huge. So I love Mike and Noe. I love working with Mike because he's so personable. And as you, as viewers at home, I think they know that too. He just comes across, shines through the camera. What you see here in studio is what you get, really. And I love that he cares so much about the community all around. I just think that uh, his personality is suited for television. Um, a delight to work with. Mike Inoue personifies humility, so he was more than happy to share some words of wisdom. If you can do that a little bit extra, and it interests you, it provides value to you as a person, you should do it, because someday, what some people think is frivolous and silly may actually be an integral part of you getting to the next step. All right, well, you know what? I've had a great time, Neil. I appreciate that. But you know what? Since you're here, um, you can take over, and I'm going to have a nice time for the rest of the day. Take care. Thank you very much, Mike. In San Jose, NBC Bay Area, I'm Neil Iwanek, reporting for the Academy of Art University's K-Art News.